Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you just a small update on this uh, setup of mine. This is uh, a DC uh, motor. It's being driven by a uh, PWM. It's connected to my shaft. There I have a 12 pole rotor connected. This side, as you can see over here, I have a three phase generator. It is now wired up in a star configuration. Down here I have the uh, three phase diode and of course it is not in its optimal position. But the wires were too short so for now it is over there. Gonna start it up. It's gonna be driven on 12 volts and around almost 1 amp to give me a certain uh, a specific RPM as you can see I like using the PWM because uh, I can start it up slowly give it some time um, I have here a voltmeter as you can see um, I have already 190 volts DC I'm gonna do a coil shorting test gonna short the output completely and also I'm gonna put these three light bulbs uh, these are basically 12 volt DC I'm gonna put them then uh, on then more than enough volts but it's not a good test because uh, basically I would have to step down that voltage but that's uh, another step in the process as you can see now it is still 12 volts at 1 amp exactly it is dropping of course give us on time yeah I think I'm almost at the required speed gonna try to measure it and let you see at the same time it is running now at 1830 hope you guys can see that yeah input is now 12 volts at yeah let's say 900 milliamps and my output voltage is 291 which is a lot I really need to step that down a lot uh, first I'm gonna do is to short the um, the output sorry for the yeah kind of crappy video I am a living room so a little bit different than in my laboratory RPM is now 1800 and yeah let's say 31 gonna short it as you can see over here as you can see there's a lot of sparking going there and I have now the speeding up like crazy it's already 100 RPM more as you can see the speeding up a lot gonna remove it show you a little bit of the, the sparking gonna let it drop down back to uh, the original uh, 1830 and then I'm gonna put these lights over here and hopefully I don't burn them out because I uh, did burn three of them already So hopefully they will hold for uh, me to finish this test. When the coils are shorted, the uh, speed up effect is more than when just put in a load. But that's always the case because what is happening in a coil is different when the coils are shorted. Our pen is 1840. Now I'm going to put the lights. These are the lights output. 
they are now very very bright the uh, voltage on them at that moment as you can see the voltage has dropped to 11.9 but when you drop the voltage like this you lose a lot of energy I really need to step it down first and then uh, use it so I'm working on that also testing the RPM now as you can see 1907 so it has climbed up around yeah around 60 65 RPM more and the input is now 12 volts at exactly not exactly just above 800 milliamps yeah that's my uh, That's my um, multimeter. As you can see, 12 volt at uh, just above, let's say, 800 milliamps. Output is very nice, and system is speeding up. And slowing that a little bit. It's now 1895. But it's still higher than the start RPM, which was 1842. And I'm gonna stop that whole thing. Yes. I have to be careful because I did get a shock out of these two leads with the 292 for DC. And trust me, it is not a funny thing to do. Still can feel my hands feel kind of funny but anyway um, the generator itself has cores as you can see 12 magnets 9 coils uh, the coils and the cores are about here and there about there the cogging is not bad I might say as you can see it gave you just a little bit of spin and remember it is also connected to the DC motor which has brushes so the brushes also are putting a little bit drag and also down here as you can see the uh, alligator clips are in a very yeah, crappy position in comparison to the magnets so that is also gave me a little bit of drag but nonetheless as you can see the cogging effect it's pretty good actually pretty good indeed what I want to do now is step down the AC voltage so I can use this uh, step down converter but uh, maximum volt for this is 40 volts so I really need to step that down to yeah preferably around 30 volts and I have to look for a special transformer I think because uh, it is uh, it has three outputs because it's a three phase one other thing I want to add since this system like to be shorted I'm gonna go for a Delta uh, wiring it is not star because as one can see in a Delta wiring all the coils are basically shorted and then you take the power of them so I'm gonna go for a Delta wiring and also put three switches on each of the faces so I can um, disconnect them because to start the top it needs to be disconnected once I get up to the 800 rpm I can connect them and start um, without it putting a load on the system I hope that makes some sense but anyway so basically it is working pretty good uh, 280 plus volts DC output I really have to um, reduce that uh, the Delta configuration will reduce it but not enough so I really have to uh, look for a uh, transformer to use on a three phase output and take it from there and uh, going to this converter and from this converter I want to go uh, have an output of 12 volts to put back here on the source 
when I put it over here you will notice the difference at this meter over here and then we'll see is uh, whatever I'm getting after that generator is it enough or what is the percentage anyway um, once again the cogging effect is not bad at all remember the coils the coils and the cores are about here the distance from the magnets until the coil and core is 15 millimeter 15 millimeters uh, once more from that side yeah I think I said everything um, yeah that's about it okay I uh, hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching